from the House of Education, and I wanted to give a little bit of my Kindle Fire Kids update. So, it's a live. Yeah, that's good. It's been a, been a good minute. We have got something, something there. Um, but probably glue. Yeah. <laughs> What else would it be with me? Because, you know, it's around where I'm doing my crafts and stuff. Um, this little flappy thing I thought was going to die. Like, I didn't expect this to be sturdy. And I use this a lot. And I use it a lot all over the house with the dogs. They're just everywhere. It goes to the kitchen. It goes to the bathroom. It goes to the living room floor. Um, you know, I listen to you books or read books well, you know, grooming the dogs. I, you know, like it goes everywhere around the house with me. It has traveled across the United States with me. Um, yeah, it's taken my crazy abuse and not, no problems, no problems at all. Um, apps on it, you know, there, there's some crappy apps and there's some great apps. So, you know, play with them, pick and choose what you want. Um, I like the parent controls. I think they're very strong um, when implemented. And I like that they can't play other games until you write. Well, there's again, a setting. You, you, can, you can do this setting, but you can set it so that they have to read before playing with apps, which I absolutely love. Um... The one downfall, and this is a new downfall, so you have um, library services. So your library may have Hoopla, and it may have OverDrive. OverDrive has converted themselves to Libby. I don't know the politics of that. I don't know any of it. But I understand that you go to OverDrive, then it takes you to Libby. So OverDrive on here works, but if the OverDrive doesn't work anymore with your library because they upgraded to Libby. Um, you get half a platform for OverDrive, uh, which is really per perplexing. However, some of the things can be viewed on your Kindle as a library loan, but it doesn't work for audiobooks. So you still need your Libby for your audiobooks because OverDrive does not have that. There is a convoluted way to get Libby onto your fire tablet i have not gone through that yet because to be honest and i don't even have little kids at home but it was overwhelming and i was like i don't have time for that i will just continue to use it it, it says i have till 2003 i'm sorry <laughs> 2023 to resolve those issues though again I can't get my audiobook over here. I have to listen to it on another device because the audiobook is attached to the Libby and not to something else. So, inconvenient? Sure. Big deal? No. For a kid? Probably. So, you're going to have to go through this Hoopla figuring out. Huh, Hoopla. That's another platform. But you'll have to go through all of that to figure it out. Now, Hoopla, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I like it. It's here. It's easy. Um, yeah, you can't see my password. Of course, I need to type it right. Okay. So, oh, and I love that Duolingo is here. There's multilingual apps on here too. So I love that. Um, yeah, so I got my Overdrive, I got my Kindle, I got my Hoopla. Um, they have finally taken the Silk browser, that's Amazon's thing, um, and labeled it internet so you actually know you can go to the internet um i like that um i like that you can pick out books and then send them to your child's side of the app so that they can read those books that's something so you, you get to really the parent controls on here are fabulous um so i like that i i definitely i recommend it so i honestly i don't know the pricing on an ipad um, I know that anything I in front of it, it should just be like $4 signs. Um, so I know that iPads tend to be expensive. This is extremely reasonably priced, especially, and you know, during the different types of times of year when they put sales on. So I recommend that you can also do a trade in swap. So you get some of your money back when it's aged out, when it's a little bit old, that's a good thing. Um, the camera, um, my hamster, 
sadly he's gone um but he lived two and a half years which is great for hamster um two and three quarters years he was almost three um but i would put this in his playpen so that we could watch him and on zoom so he, uh, fall the hamster would come to book club um especially for hamster books and the camera was great so i could zoom from here which is also nice um i haven't tried koala go yet i'm going to put that to the test and see how koala go that's a nice educational tutoring platform your tutor your teachers could be using koala go um, instead of zoom so i'm going to test it out and see how it works on here because i know it's designed to work supremely well with ipad so this is my follow-up review and i still recommend this is a really good device to have for your kiddos. Uh, battery life, also really good. I do charge it like every other day. And if I really use it a lot, like if I use it all day, then I will charge it at night. And when I say all day, I mean like we're talking nine, 10 hours a day, um, which does happen because I, you have iHeartRadio on here. You have everything you need on here. So you know, I'm cooking in the kitchen. I've got my recipes going, uh, you know, again, grooming with the dogs. I can listen to an audiobook, or because the Kindle can read some books to you. Yes, it's computerized voice, but that's okay. Um, works great for dyslexics like me. And, you know, I can also still groom and turn pages because, you know, I can look down and look up and all that. So I love it and I use it a ton. I recommend it. So grab one for your kid. It's going to be a great tool and you can use it as a reward for reading because they have to read to use the device. If you have a device you would like me to review that's kid friendly, let me know and I'd love to check it out. Post it below or send me a direct message.